Our flu report for you tonight looks like local cases being reported in West Virginia, sporadic in Ohio, and back up in the regional area for Pennsylvania. Well, it sounds extreme, but people will risk their jobs and their romances just to do this one thing. Play video games. Whether it be on the internet or on a home gaming console, this hobby is now forming into an addiction. We sit down with gamers and a psychiatrist to see how this is happening. You may be one of them. Or know someone who is a gamer. I, I love video games. I've always, I, mean, I started off with uh, Super Mario Brothers and went all the way up to, you know, Halo 2 now, that's famous, you know, but I love video games. I've always loved video games. Whether it be gaming consoles or computer games, clinical psychologist Dr. John McFadden, a preceptor in behavioral medicine at Medical Park Wheeling Hospital, says this hobby can turn into an addiction. Persistent, interfering craving. It's something that a person feels compelled to do. And it's not just children. Relationships, occupations, and college careers all going down the drain because of it. Uh, an individual comes home maybe from their job and um, then devotes their time to playing a video game as opposed to, say, involvement with a spouse or involvement with uh, children. Even when the person is not engaged in playing, just like an alcoholic, they're always thinking about the next time they can get their fix. So, is there any good in gaming? Dr. Roddenbush with Wheeling Jesuit University wanted to show that video games can actually distract people from their pain. So what did he do? He had them play the game and stick their hand in water that's three degrees Celsius. What we're finding is that more action-based, more um, sports and boxing-based kinds of games get you involved in the game so you're able to withstand the pain for a longer period of time. While it might work medical wonders for some, it causes more pain for others. Confrontations can include anger, but Dr. McFadden says handle it with factual observations stated similar to this. The fact that you were sitting at home playing uh, video games and your child was involved in basketball tournament playoffs, you didn't even go to the game. Grand Theft Auto. Know when your gaming time should be over, so your relationship, job, and college career don't have to be. Very personal story for me. I have a gamer at home. I'm sure he's watching. Yes. <laughs> See, my generation doesn't relate to that because we were always out playing mm -hmm. basketball, football, and now my nieces and nephews, that's all they do. Right, and then like with my better half, that's what he and his mom did when they were younger, when he was younger, mm -hmm. to have quality time together. Right. So it starts at home, so mom and dad put an end to it now if you can. He said limit it. Dr. Uh, McFadden is not against video games by any means, but he says you really need to limit it. Nice day, get outside. So when you had your hand down that 37 degree temperature water... Oh, it burned. It was bad. I was only in there about 30 seconds or so, and it starts throbbing. He said some people will go... Up to five minutes, people have put their hand in there. So there's uh, some research going on at Wheeling Hospital right now that the student Trevor is doing, so it's going to be interesting to see what he finds out. Neat report. Coming up, we'll take a look at some of the stories the newsroom is working on for our next